Korean War veterans groups conducted a ceremony yesterday to remember fellow prisoners of war and those still listed as missing in action. HPR's Wen Yoshioka attended the annual observance at the National Cemetery of the Pacific at Punchbowl. For more than 20 years, the Korean War Veterans Association, Hawaii Chapter, has honored 8,000 service members whose remains from that war have never been recovered. Former prisoner of war Nick Nishimoto has been part of the coordinating committee since the beginning. He was captured November 27, 1950, and today at age 83, Nishimoto says he organizes the annual observance to remember a buddy. This one guy from Kapuhulu, his name was Albert Chang. We took basic together in Schofield. We're in the same company. Then when we got captured, he was in the same room as I was. When he died in camp, I had to bury him, and I took his pocket Bible. Then when I came home, I went up to his house, and I gave it to the brother, and I said, this is all I kept of him. Former POW Kiyomi Yonamine was captured one day after Nishimoto and spent the rest of the war in a North Korean camp. He was released in August 1953. When he came home, Yonamine said, he did what many of his fellow GIs did. First thing I did was get my favorite food, veal cutlet, <laughs> small cafe. <laughs> Cafe Lodi Boulevard. Eh? I mean, they don't have it anymore, but you know, it's a place that we used to hang out all the time. Yonamine said he survived the harsh winters because of his faith and family support. U.S. Congresswoman Colleen Hanabusa accompanied the Korean War veterans who laid a wreath during the ceremony. She said her husband's cousin was lost in the Korean War, but there's renewed hope for closure through DNA testing. Congresswoman Hanabusa says the nation must always remember its heroes. I think it's most important that people remember, and because the veterans get together and continue to remind us of the MIAs and what has gone on in that conflict, that I think the history is not one that we will forget. Governor Neil Abercrombie also presented a wreath, but this time without much fanfare or a speech. After the ceremony, he said the Korean War, the first without a U.S. victory, changed the nation's perspective on exercising military options in a geopolitical world. Unfortunately, the governor says, errors of the last 60 years continue in Iraq and Afghanistan. I started my political campaigning, really, at the gates of Punchbowl Cemetery in 1970 on the basis not so much of protesting the war, but on saying that we were pro-peace, that there was nothing to be resolved militarily in Vietnam. And I didn't want to see soldiers being used for political ends, and I regret that this issue hasn't been resolved yet. Meanwhile, the Joint POW-MIA Accounting Command at Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam continues excavation operations worldwide to repatriate remains from all wars. Major General Stephen Tom commands the 400-member unit. The estimated amount of folks that are missing that we think are potentially recoverable, and these are not the ones that are lost at sea in deep water, but what's potentially recoverable, we estimate between 20 to 30,000. And that's less than half of the 83,000 MIAs from all past wars. Wayne Yoshioka, HBR News.